All right, switching back to some of the problems in your packet, one of the first ones they ask you to do is to graph a system of inequalities. Give two ordered pairs that are solutions and two that are not solutions. You'll notice with one of these, though, um, y is not by itself. So we're going to first, just like it says here, solve the second inequality. That should be inequality for y to make it easier to graph. So. I'm going to rewrite this problem down here, and we're going to go ahead and get y by itself by getting rid of this uh, negative x. What's the opposite of a negative x? Positive x, right? So as we do that, um, this will cancel out, and I'm left with y greater than or equal to x plus 3. Now we're not going to put those together and write 3x. We're going to write them separately because this is an x, and that's a number, and we have to keep those things separate. All right, so now that we have these two inequalities, um, I'm going to go ahead and graph each one. I did keep this as a reference on screen, um, but make sure you record something like this so you know when to dash a line and when to make it solid, when to shade above or when to shade below. So starting here, um, our y-intercept is positive 6. So let's go ahead and look at our y-axis and see where is 6 at. Go ahead and draw a dot there. Um, for our slope, which is negative 2, we're going to write a 1 underneath it. And if it's a negative 2, will I go up or down if it is a negative 2? Down, right? So we'll go down and over. So we're going to go down 2 and over 1. And those dots are a little bit more spot on. Down 2 and over 1. And so on and so forth. Okay, now let's decide whether or not we're going to make that line um, dashed or solid. So looking at this symbol here, it looks like it's going to be dashed. So um, let's go ahead and dash that line. And then if we're going to shade above or below. So looking at this symbol, it looks like we're going to shade above. All right. Moving right along, let's go ahead and um, identify our y-intercept for our second inequality and put that on our y-axis here. So that's 3. And our slope, which is 1 over 1. So again, we're going to write 1 over 1. And since this is a positive 1, we're going to go up 1 and over to the right 1. So that'll be up 1 and over 1 up 1, over 1, and so on and so forth. And then we're going to decide whether we're going to make this uh, line solid or dashed. So according to the table, it looks like it's going to be solid. And are we going to shade above or below? Looks like here we're going to have to shade um, above. So you'll see in this area here, there's a little bit of overlap. So pick two points in that area that are solutions. And you can pick two points that are not in either area as are not solutions. So I'm going to keep it simple and write 0, 0. Why not, right? Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, negative 2, negative 2. Those ones seem to be pretty simple to do. But I'll let you pick your two solutions in this area here. Yes, those are solutions. <laughs> um, let's continue on um, with number two. Again, um, both of these have y by itself, so we don't have to solve for this one. We can actually just start graphing. So let's do that. Um, let's find our y-intercept, which is positive 3. And then our, um, yes, I know there's no number there, but there is 1x. So I'm going to write a 1 over 1 to be my slope. Um, off to the side, if it's a positive one, will I go up or down? Up, right? So we'll go up one and over one. So let's do that. Hopefully these dots stay in their place. Kind of, they did. And we'll continue making these more and more points. And we're going to decide whether it's going to be solid or dashed. So this is our symbol. So take a minute. Think about what, what you think it might be. It's going to be a solid line. And if we're going to shade above or below, well, if that's my symbol, it looks like it's going to be shaded um, below. And then on the next one that we're going to do, remember there's two inequalities, so just keep that in mind. We still have to find where is negative 3 on the y-axis. 
So negative 3 is going to be right here. Yes, on the y-axis. Um, thank you, PowerPoint. That is a negative 3. And what we're going to do, since there is no x value, that means there's no slope or zero slope, which means one way I kind of remember what zero slopes looks like is it's going to be a straight line right across. So if my slope is ever zero or doesn't kind of appear in the problem, um, my slope is going to be zero. So I'm going to, with the help of my pencil, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line straight across. Now is it going to be solid or dashed? That's the question. Dashed, right? And are we going to shade above or below? Below. Again, um, pick some points in that um, solution area, um, but I'm going to kind of pick some two points that are not in my solution area. So I'll try negative 4, 4, and how about um, negative 3, 6. And you can pick whatever you like, but this is just what I'm going to pick for my not solutions. But go ahead and do that for your actual solutions. All right, uh, number three. So let's, again, they're both solved out for y, which is awesome. So we can just start graphing. All right, so first things first, go ahead on your y-axis, look for positive two. All right, um, let's go ahead and look at our slope. Our slope's negative one over three. So if it's a negative one over three, we're gonna go down one and over three. So down one and over three, down one and over three. And since our symbol is this, are we going to dash or solid our line? So which one? We're going to dash it, right? And then since that is still my symbol, am I going to shade above or below? Above, right? All right, let's keep it going. Um, here we have a y-intercept of negative 3. So let's go ahead and put a dot on that. And our slope is 4 over 1, so we're going to write that and see are we going to go up or down if 4 is positive? Up, right? And then we're going to go to the right one. We're always going to the right one, by the way. One of the students didn't notice that. Um, so we'll go up 4 and over 1. Up 4 and over 1. And then are we going to make that line solid or dashed? Dash, right? And then are we going to shade above or below, according to that symbol? Below. So again, pick two points that are in your solution space. It's right here. And I'm going to pick two points that are not in my solution space. So I always go for relatively easy points that are not solutions. So negative 4, 0. Hey, why not? Next door neighbor, negative 3, 0. Keep my life simple, right? <laughs> All right, so um, this is actually our checkpoint. We're just about done. Um, there is some homework that we're going to review, but let's finish this out. Um, so here we have x greater than or equal to negative 6. So the first thing we're going to do is on our x-axis, go ahead and identify where negative 6 would be. Yes, that is our x-intercept. <laughs> It will be right here, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line. Since there is no y value, we're going to go ahead and draw a line vertically, going straight up and down. Now, is it going to be solid or dashed is my question. Thank you, magic pencil. Yes, that's going to be a line that goes straight through. So is it going to be solid or dashed? Solid, right? Awesome. So since this symbol here is a greater than symbol, what are some numbers that are greater than negative 6? Well, negative 5, negative 4, also all of these positive numbers, right? So we're going to shade this side, the more side, yes. Um, on the next one, we're going to go ahead, and since this one has no x, I'm going to have a zero slope, just like we did last time. So it's going to be a line that goes straight through on the y-axis at 3. So where's 3 at? There it is. We're going to draw a line straight through. Thank you, magic pencil. Straight through. Is it going to be solid or dashed, though? 
dashed, right? All right, so are we going to shade above or below if this is my um, symbol? Below. Again, pick two points. It's a lot easier to see now that I've changed the color. I should have done that to the rest of them. I appreciate. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, for the ones that are not solutions, though, I will go ahead and say, make my life easy. Maybe negative seven four, right? Negative seven four, and maybe negative seven five. Um, there is homework. Um, we decided to cut it down since I did have them do a couple of worksheets in the packet. Also, um, not in the packet, I should say. I made them do 2 through 14 even from that section. And again, if you need graph paper, I'll go ahead and upload um, some with this video. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this and this was helpful. On to the next lesson. See you next time.